All right, guys. Um, let's uh, <clears throat> let's talk about uh, drawing class. Uh, I, uh, last week I uh, spoke a little bit about a new alternative project, and I didn't uh, get the time to get it up on Canvas. Uh, we were trying to finish up our yearbook. Which, by the way, if you haven't purchased a yearbook yet, you'll want to do that. The yearbooks are finished. Uh, there are quite a few surprises in the book this year, as well as uh, something uh, that we'll be doing differently at distribution, uh, at our distribution event in May. Um, and uh, I believe uh, you guys will enjoy that. Um, so back to drawing. Uh, the alternative project is a postcard uh, project. Now postcards um, are usually uh, for sending a quick note telling others of your uh, travels or your experiences to some distant uh, exotic place. I remember in fourth grade uh, my older brother, he's, he's about 10 years older than I am, he uh, was in Florida and he sent me uh, some postcards uh, of uh, different uh, WWF wrestlers. Uh, that was uh, our thing uh, when I was a kid. Uh, uh, my brothers and I would uh, uh, get together and watch WWF on uh uh, Saturdays, uh, Saturday mornings after uh, I got my fill of Saturday morning cartoons. And so uh, he would send me uh, postcards of uh, Andre the Giant or Hulk Hogan or, or these other guys. Um, a couple of times he sent me postcards uh, that were, were for wood burning. They had a design that you could wood burn uh, onto it. Those were pretty cool. Uh, and so that's what we're going to be doing. That's our alternative project is making postcards. Now this is a great thing about the postcard assignment is they're small and you can do as many as you would like. And I got this idea from this website here. Um, let's see right here. Uh, I'm not going to take the time to watch this video. I will be posting this uh, website uh, in uh, uh, somewhere uh, in Canvas for this week's module. Now, this woman is uh, leading a uh, an artistic uh, response project, and she's creating an online show of postcards as well as a physical show and she's just asking that you mail your artworks 4 by 6 artworks to this website. We are not going to do that. What I want for you guys to do is to create your postcards and to mail them to the school if you can. Uh, granted that's postage and uh, post stamps and we can't uh, easily go get stamps anymore. Um, um, it's a little bit more uh, difficult with all of the closures uh, and you can't just bring your projects to the school anymore uh, because of um, the, the new security changes, not security, but the new uh, changes. Um, students are only allowed in the school by appointment, and that is district-wide. So um, what you'll need to do for this is to create a, a postcard. Uh, postcards are on a lightweight cardboard or a heavyweight cardstock. Cardstock is too light, and regular cardboard is too thick. Uh, so you want something in between cardstock and um, 
cardboard. Cereal boxes are really good. Um, this is uh, oops, this is the uh, uh, one of the flaps on a cardboard box. You can kind of see it's pretty thin. Uh, it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick for those of you who understand that. This size is a little too big and so with a ruler and a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, whatever I can find, I'm going to cut out a 4 by 6 inch um, format. And then I am going to create my uh, artwork. Now, what is the subject or the theme for this? Well, that's the great thing about this project. For each week that you do this, this each one will count as towards uh, your eight projects. Each one will need to follow a different theme. These themes will uh, range from uh, social uh, experiences to uh, emotional experiences uh, to conceptual uh, or uh, uh, complex ideas uh, and uh, you can choose which ones you want to do as far as mediums go any drawing medium so you can do marker uh, you can use pastel oil pastel sidewalk chalk. If you do something like sidewalk chalk, you'll want a spray of fixative uh, on that. Uh, I imagine that most of you probably don't have a spray of fixative um, for uh, drawing in your home. So it's not the best alternative, but it does work. If you have an aerosol can of hairspray, that will be sufficient. You want to be careful about how much you use because it can turn your white to more of a yellow color like this if you use too much. This is color is actually printed on. It's not from hairspray. But I do have some drawings from high school where I used hairspray, my sister's Aquanet, and uh, the paper has now yellowed quite significantly uh, more than some of the papers that I didn't use hairspray on. Uh, and then uh, you will postmark them to um, Sausevere High School. Um, or your other option is you will photograph them with your phone. You will need to crop it down and then you will submit it on Canvas and I'll have a separate video about doing that. But you will still need to show me the original drawing once we get back to school. Hopefully we'll be going back after May 1st, but in the event that we don't end up going back, um, the small chance that it happens, uh, you will still need th to get them to me, uh, whether you drop them off or mail them in. Uh, postcard stamps, they used to be 20 cents. Uh, they're probably around 30 cents now. Uh, so uh, pretty uh, inexpensive uh, and very small, very doable. You could easily complete one of these in an hour, may, two hours tops, uh, and have it all done. Uh, so in a separate video that I'll post, uh, my son and I will be making these, and uh, you can see what we've done, and, uh, and you'll have all of the instructions for it that way. Okay? Now, as a side note, some of you have not contacted me. Most of you are not submitting your weekly progress. This is very concerning to me. 
I need to see weekly progress. You should be spending a minimum of two hours a week drawing. Some of you have submitted photos. Quite frankly, it doesn't look like you've spent more than 30 minutes on your drawing. A few lines uh, here and there does not equal an hour. Okay, so make sure that you are being honest with yourself, honest with me, and you are giving a full effort. This is on you guys, all right? I'm not going to uh, question, uh, I am going to question you, but I'm not going to deduct points because I feel like you're not spending an hour, but I will question you. So, um and if it gets to be a real issue, then we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to have a conversation um, because uh, I I want to see you working. The only way that you're going to be successful and able to finish the work for this class is if is if you are spending at least uh, an hour on Tuesdays and another hour on Thursdays, basically two hours a week, doing your drawings. It's the only way you'll ha you will be able to finish your uh, eight artworks by the end of the semester. Okay. Yes, I am still holding you to that. I know many of the other classes are modifying. I've modified a lot of my other classes, but this is something I feel is still doable. Okay, uh, if you have questions, please contact me uh, through uh, Canvas and, um, and I will get back with you as soon as I can. All right, uh, I hope you guys have a good week. Uh, do your best work and uh, if you're getting stressed out, you're having problems, please let me know, okay? Uh, please comment below this video so that I know that you have uh, watched it and, uh, and I can mark you off on my contact list. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later.